going on everybody? This is me, uh, Al. Big Al, Skipper Al. I'm starting a video here of uh, my BMW E46 LS swap. Um, I think I plan on making it like an informational video. I'm not gonna do like series and different episodes. Maybe I'll split it up into one or two because it might get a little lengthy, but mainly I'm just gonna make a compilation of the parts and everything it took to get the engine to fit into the car. And and I know through my research, I haven't really seen a comprehensive video of you know what parts people used and uh, I think that'd be very helpful for everybody and you know it's a good video log of my time building the this car um, I really like building stuff so it'll be something cool to look back on too um, I picked up this uh, L92 it's a 6.2 liter aluminum block out of a Escalade there it is so I picked this up couple weeks back um, got a pretty good price on it the, there's just so much shit not running right uh, the lady was a single mom two kids she needed to get in something a little bit safer and this thing's just fucked so anyways I picked it up for roughly 3k and uh, I've already sold a bunch of parts off it I can't wait to get this fucking thing out of my life and make some more room in the shop for fun things but uh, yeah, anyways, motor's pulled, got good compression. Um, I'm just going to start by, you know, washing it off and seeing what I'm actually looking at here. But uh, um, I did get it running in the car pretty well. It wasn't running off one bank because one of the power wires coming into the coil pack on the, actually, the bank one over here was completely eaten through. So, um that was pretty nice to find out after I bought it that it wasn't a big deal. I mean, we'll see what happens when we get a look inside the engine, but I got it running and it runs good and just kind of started pulling all the accessories off and yeah, just gonna start a nice little video here and I'm looking forward to getting some good footage and I got a few parts on order already. Uh, I ordered an LS3 intake, like a fast intake. Um, I ordered the fuel rails for it. I also ordered the uh, CX racing headers. Um, what else did I get so far? I got pencil tucky engine mounts uh, to bolts. Well, I got the pencil tucky engine mounts uh, and the TR6060 trans mount. Um, he's building them now as we speak and he's going to send them to me pretty soon. So thanks for that. Um, that's the other thing I did pick up for this already is, uh, I found a TR6060 in Kamloops off a guy named, hmm, I'll get back to you on that. Uh, anyways, got a pretty good deal on that. Obviously I haven't seen it yet because it's in Kamloops, so we'll hope it was a good deal, but, uh. Anyways, I only have a few more big ticket items to order. I'm gonna go with the Terminator X. Um, what else do I have to get? I have to get a rad. I have to get an oil pan. I'm gonna get a Holly oil pan. The the engine mounts this guy builds, uh, his name is Alex, also another Al, pretty cool guy. Um, pairs up nicely, apparently, with the CX headers and a Holly 302-1 oil pan. So I gotta order that. Uh, what else? I think that's pretty much it. Just to, I mean, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of stuff, but those are the big ticket items. You know, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be more money than I want to spend, but you know, life's short. So why not have the things that you like, right? Um, I have liquidated some things to help with this project. I, like I said, I basically got this engine for, actually, I'll make money on this, so I got a free engine out of it. Um, but I sold some other things. I sold my eight-wheel eight Argo. I sold some coil, old coils I had for the 240. But, yeah, even with all that said, it's probably going to be six or seven grand out of pocket for this. Plus, I'm going to put a big sloppy cam in her, and, yeah, it'll be, it'll be, expensive but it'll be worth it because 
because displacement, baby. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so this is uh, my little intro to the video and I hope you guys enjoy. cleaned up over here if anybody's wondering how long it takes to clean a motor to 80% I mean I didn't do the best job but about two beers and three smokes later she's pretty clean um, I also had to uh, had four broken exhaust manifold studs or bolts I guess they are in these um, four broken three of them were broken pretty nicely I was able just to get the vice grips on them but one of them was broken off inside and as you can see here I had to do a little welding and uh, surprisingly she just fucking everything came out no hassle no drilling no bullshit so happy about that and now that it's somewhat clean, I'm going to take it to the machine shop and that'll be our next step. Uh, heads will come off, take a look internally on the engine and yeah, anyways, another step towards more HP, baby. 